Well, insects have long been a part of the diet in Asia and Africa. In Europe, not so much. But habits are, of course, changing, especially as people avoid more animal products. And some see a market developing there. Well, today, the European Commission has officially declared mealworms to be food. It could be a game changer for insect farmers, many of whom are operating under temporary licenses. They're now hoping to grow their businesses and turn insects into another source of protein for Europeans, even if just a niche one. Our reporter Lars Halter visited one of Germany's largest insect, farm, insect farms and sent us this report. Schnurpflingen, a little town in southern Germany, not far from where the Danube River starts its long journey east. There's a small church and fields as far as the eye can see. And it is right here where you can catch a glimpse of the future of our food. And these guys have nothing to do with it. No, we're looking at another source of protein and it's coming from this rather nondescript place, two huge factory buildings. The farm is called Six Feet to Eat and they're raising mealworms here. These tiny insects, just over two centimeters long, could be key to feeding the planet. Insects are rich in protein. Up to 70% of their entire mass is protein. In addition to that, they're also rich in healthy omega-3 fatty acids, like fish. Except with fish, you have a 2% share of omega-3 fatty acids. And some insects, especially the mealworm, have over 14%. That's seven times as much. Literally millions of insects are being raised here. Mealworms, crickets, grasshoppers. Each breed with very particular needs, like steady temperatures of up to 40 degrees. The insects live for just four to five weeks before they make their way into a fridge, fall into a deep sleep that ends in a roasting oven. They're packaged and sent to stores, restaurants, or straight to consumers, who are currently paying premium for the product. But with the EU paving the way, the company hopes to produce cheaper soon. There are some insects that are ideally suited for ethical factory farming, like the mealworm or the cricket. We're currently establishing some level of automation in our processes to get away from a lot of the manual labor that's currently needed. That's a way to cut costs and it will help bring consumer prices down too. But what about all those people who can't stomach a bug on their salad or their pasta dish? Well, they can go to the Nürnbecker. Kurt Heinlein is a baker in Nürnberg, and he has been specializing in interesting ingredients like spelt or insects. His insect bread contains 20% mealworm flour. It's pricey at over 8 euro for a small loaf. But customers have quickly taken an interest. We were positively surprised, especially with regards to our older customers. We thought that the younger generation would be more likely to try out something new, but in fact, it was the over 50 group that got really excited about it. And many even tried the whole mealworms too. Reason enough for the baker to hope that his store stays busy and customers are enjoying more of his experiments.